so this video is starting off a little different because I am I'm doing another listing video that's what this video is going to be about and I just wanted to say thank you all very much for your support on the last listing video I do want to say I am I'm still very happy with what I was able to accomplish in that video that is just what it's like being a part-time reseller especially a disabled part-time reseller that still has a nine-to-five job that is very demanding physically um, as well as mentally uh, and I I don't want it to feel negative at all uh, I, I'm again very happy with what I was able to get done and I'm going to be very happy with what I'm able to get done in this video um, no matter where I start or stop at because every listing helps and that's the point if you're wondering why I'm filming here in front of books it's because I also have other YouTube channels um, one specifically focused around books, uh, doing reviews and book hauls and that kind of stuff. And I will link that channel up above and also in the description down below if you're interested. Uh, that's also where you're going to find like book hauls to resell information about that. So if that's something you're interested in, feel free to check it out or not. You do you. Uh, let's go ahead and get you all some listing inspiration and uh, get this day started. So y'all can see I have made some progress here on my listings. So I am now at 435 and what we are going to hopefully achieve today is to get this to that 450 mark. So that way I will only be 50 short listings to my 500 annual goal. And that will be just the most awesome of things. Also, I'm enjoying seeing this number slowly go up too. Uh, I've heard it spoken about on reselling YouTube you sell about 1% of your inventory every day. So I wish that was the case for my store, but I have a lot of long tail vintage items, so I'm not surprised that's not the case. So basically what that tells me is that I can hope for like $900 of sales at the end of the month if I have a $9,000 of stuff listed, which is actually pretty close. So we're gonna get that number up a little bit more we're gonna try to get those 15 listings done today. As per usual, I have set myself up for a modicum of success by doing some drafts. So I have six drafts here, which means that I would need to not only get these listed, but also photograph and list nine more items. I'm pretty sure I can, I can make that happen, but if I have another day like I did last week, well, that ability will diminish exponentially. So let's get started. Just like last listing video, I have to start by pulling the one order I have that I got off of Poshmark, which is a surprise when I woke up this morning. So let's pull that. I just want to say I do absolutely love the move to the banker's boxes. Look, I can start another row now because I have filled two full rows. Um, hello, baby. My furry supervisor is checking to make sure I'm starting work. And by work, I mean my side hustle, not my actual job. I got an hour left before I have to start that. Here it is all packed up. Um, I will say that the difference between Poshmark and Etsy versus selling on eBay is that I do use cute mailers, uh, poly mailers for Etsy and Poshmark if I sell clothing, um, but that's about it. So I got these like when I first started reselling consistently two and a half years ago. So I have, I still have a few of these and then my wonderful subscriber, uh, Brett sent me like an actual crap ton of mailers, poly mailers. So I'm good with these for a long time. You might be thinking to yourself, Bob, it looks very dark when you're listing. Uh, yes, uh, that is because my uh, eyes don't adjust to light changes very well. So I actually don't turn on the lights in my house. Uh, I just let natural light for the most part until um, you know it gets dark and I have to turn the lights on but uh, it's because my eyes don't really adjust to light changes very well due to my dysautonomia so yes I list in the dark so as you can see all of my drafts that I had photos for are done and if you can see Moxie there uh, it is just before nine o'clock so that means I need to start my nine to five job. That's the reason it's called a nine to five job. So I'm actually very happy with that. I actually was able to list nine things before I had to start my nine to five, which is good. Uh, I have to find some time during my day 
today to photograph and list seven more things. And that is because again, as you guys saw, I sold something this morning. So I technically started with 434. Uh, so I have to list a total of 16 things today, but I'm already over halfway there and I'm just now starting my day job. So wish me luck and we'll see how far I can get today. Okay, this is almost full. I'm at 445 for items. So I'm going to go ahead and inventory these since everything in here is listed and I don't want to get but so far behind in the inventory. Oh, so here is my stuff and what I normally do is I put the date for the custom SKU label so I know how long the item's been listed, uh, the number of items I listed that day, and then I will put a dash and put the number next to it as well. So you see these are already inventoried. So I have these custom labels that I print with my Rolo printer using Canva. I saw Courtney from Common Tags do this on an Instagram post and then she referred me to the video that she used to figure out how to do this. Uh, I, I will link that up above if you're interested, but I just put thank you for supporting my small business and then a space here to the left so I can write the number. And after I do that, I put the number in here and that's pretty much how I do my inventory system. And when this box gets full now, I put it upstairs and I make a new banker's box. Okay, my friends, it is almost six o'clock. I have taken photographs of five more items to list before this day ends. I, I know I, I, I wanted to get everything listed, Moxie, before I ended the video, but we are at pizza and wine o'clock. Plus, it is Tuesday and I also stream regularly on Tuesdays on my Twitch channel. I know, I know, baby girl. So uh, I'm going to get these listings up. I'm going to end the day with 4.50. Uh, I will post that in my Instagram stories if you're interested in holding me accountable. <laughs> I also link my Instagram like here-ish and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will say today was uh, while my nine to five was awful, um, my reselling business, I, I hit, all my, I'm going to hit all of my goals. So this was a great redemption story and I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching. I'd like to personally thank all 1,520 of you. Interesting history fact for the year 1,520 AD is another Henry VIII fact. Henry VIII, I am, I am Henry VIII. I, I don't actually know that song. I just have that tune stuck in my head. So if it's not that, uh, I'm sorry. But Henry VIII and I think it's Francis the first uh, of France met uh, on the field of gold cloth. I will put a picture of that lovely depiction there. And uh, yeah, that uh, that's that's the fact. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link down below, the Wikipedia link down below if you're interested in learning more about that particular event. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Incronimple, incronimple. Why am I saying incronimply? <sighs> that ability will diminish exponentially. I'm trying to say incremental and exponential at the same time. Wow. All right.